But also, there is another problem built into this, that the variable on the uh, x-axis, job satisfaction, is actually an ordinal variable. So I so happen to have put them at equal intervals. So I've said that um, zero is very dissatisfied, one is uh, dissatisfied, zero, uh, two is indifferent. But implied in this data, implied in the way that I've done this, is to say, well, if one is satisfied, and so that one there is satisfied, and then I'm saying three is actually um, dissatisfied. Well, is, does that mean that dissatisfied equals three times satisfied? Does it mean that anyone that ticks this box here is actually um, three times less satisfied in their job than people in this box here? Well, that's kind of meaningless because how do you quantify how many times more satisfied somebody is? So I don't think that, say, um, dissatisfied is not equal to three times satisfied. And that's what I mean by the ordinal issue, because I've assumed that they're on an equal scale, but they may not be. Um, so actually, people who tick the dissatisfied box could be so dissatisfied, whereas the people who have ticked the, well, I'm just not satisfied, could just be the grumpy so-and-sos who are never satisfied. And so there actually could be a much, much stronger degree of opinion down at dissatisfied than in any other box. And we can get around, or partially get around this issue by using a non-parametric test correlation that doesn't assume that everything's on an interval scale, uh, but actually just looks at what's called the rank. So we can look at um, this thing called the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. And it's re related, very strongly related to the, um, the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. It uses, in fact, pretty much the same calculation. But what it does is it looks at simply ranking. And, oh, there you go. I thought, given that we've got people at the picket lines today, is job, uh, we can have this question, is job satisfaction associated with era? Is it? I don't know. Anyway, the question was, what is rank? Rank is simply, ignore the, um, the headings in here, they're actually taken from last week. But the, if you, a rank is simply, if you take your scores, or you take any kind of score that you've got, and if you take all your data, they all say well, that's uh, that'd be satisfaction in this. So if you take job satisfaction and then you sort all of the values, so you get all of your respondents and you sort them, you'd have uh, say all the zero, 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 one, one, and so on. Two, two. So these are just the satisfaction uh, values that I used to code my uh, code job satisfaction. And then rank is simply saying, well, that's response one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's simply rank. So all it means is I'm ordering my responses. That's all it is. It's just, and they call it rank. And there's various, a lot of the non-parametric tests are based on rank rather than the underlying uh, data values. So it, uh, it's a similar equation before, again, not, not the kind of thing that many people will commit to memory. But the point is it's calculated in exactly the same way, except that these values, rather than being the raw data values, are the ranks. So it takes all the raw data, ranks it, and the, the, the bar just means mean. So they calculate the average rank. 
Uh, but what it allows, allows you to do is produce a correlation um, of, uh, of uh, ordinal values as opposed to um, scale values. So you can get away from this assumption that everything's on an equal scale. Uh, and you can do that in SPSS exactly as we just did. did. You check uh, the, you check a different box. So I can show you, analyze, and correlate and bivariate. And then when you get that box, you'll see the correlation coefficient. You can uncheck Pearson because we did that. But you know, keep Pearson checked. It'd be interesting to compare the values and you can um, check Spearman. And that's just that, that, that non-parametric version of the correlation coefficient. And you press OK, and it will spit out the so yeah, non-parametric correlations. And this time it says there's a correlation of minus 0.175. So it's got a slightly different uh, degree of correlation. But again, it's saying a significant result. It's saying it's really sure that there is correlation. In fact, it's slightly more sure than the um, the other tests. So I just wanted to show you that and start introducing that that idea.